Something I take a lot of pride in. Bryce Van and Steel has been a pioneer of 3D printing for the last decade. It's kind of builder bird trying to lead on the front, making sure people are comfortable with us 3D printing houses. But this is his biggest job yet. So this is 100% 3D printed. Yeah, totally wild. And then we filled the core solid and we went overboard because we were going to put a stone roof on it. Okay. Kind of for Swanee, totally cool. Mm -hmm. um, but the affordable housing opportunity was like, we want to kind of show, show going from stone to wood. Mm -hmm. And so leave it open and kind of, mm -hmm. it's a little educational. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of the intent is to find leadership with courage to use this technology. So what is special about this technology? A bit that it was made here in Jacksonville. Bryce may be the brains behind the mission. This was right at 16 hours. Weighs about 22,000 pounds. But Golem does all the hard work. Golem does heavy lifting. The robot, that is, printing using concrete. This is your track. What's super cool about the Golem robot arm um, goes in my Silverado, 150 pounds. It's a portable operation that makes it a great solution to building more affordable homes. We started this project because we know that Jacksonville has an affordable housing crisis. Co-founder Catherine McAvoy says Jacksonville needs 3D printed housing. We spent two years doing R&D. We checked all the different concrete um, options, all the different robot arm options, all the different hose options and Bryce and Adam created the Golem robot that is now ready to 3D print houses. And we've been ready for a while. Now what we need is somebody that in Jacksonville that's willing to take the risk to put a house up with it. The cost of these homes could be 30 to 40% cheaper than traditional builds, something they believe can really make a difference in today's housing market. This is a technology that Jacksonville needs to get behind. And once they embrace it and we move forward, I think that you'll find a lot of people will appreciate the fact that we can build it a better house for less money, faster than traditional build. I am standing in, in like kind of a, a lot of blood, sweat and tears around here. And if we want to maintain that lead that took courage for us to start, here's the baton, you know, we, we're working on an island solution on the robots. Super awesome, right? Like. But, you know, so we're trying to stay ahead on a big picture because I think the crisis and, you know, using technology and not being scared of it, I ain't scared. Reporting, Tiffany Salome, Channel 4, The Local Station.